This is part two of building out our new shop, our new workshop, our new warehouse. And big things are happening. I think you did these all wrong. They're like way too straight. Dude, these things are not, <laughs> been way, way harder than it should have been. So I know it's square, and then while you guys are holding, I need to like pop a couple nails in it via the ram set, cool. and then like stand up this wall and do the same thing. So since we last met, um, we have taken down these two walls and have somewhat of a blank slate besides a whole bunch of glued down floor remnants. But uh, we started framing up walls. We have the two by four studs ready to go and about half of the two by six stud walls um, ready to go. And the next thing I'm doing is securing that wall to the wall that's behind it. And then we're gonna walk these walls up and secure these two walls today. And then hopefully in the next day or two, we'll have the rest of the stud walls up and be done with framing. Dang, yeah. that's crazy. It's yeah. gonna actually look like something. Great. Yeah, oh dude, by the end of the day tomorrow, this shit's gonna, yeah, it, yeah. it's gonna be crazy. So now that this is propped up, is, you, is it by putting more in the ground at that angle and it will keep it that way? No, the floor joists that we put on top of it, uh, like unlike the ones that weren't secured to the top of the <laughs> right. walls, that's going to help help it stay plumb for us. Yeah. Also, like for example, that cross wall that comes right in here that separates the uh, YouTube studio from like this back area, yeah. that will help keep it plumb as well. Um, same with like the very back wall on that side. Yeah, it still adds up. Yeah, it all just adds up. But the thing that will mostly keep the squareness of this is gonna be the floor joist that's on top of these walls. This video is also Brian teaches Alex building because I don't know what's going on at any point and Brian answers all my questions with a smile on his face. Uh, only because my mom asks me so many questions all the time, dude. It's just, <laughs> I know I just gotta explain it. She just wants to know. I need 53 and a half right now. I'm at 54. And this is staying, right? We just have to deal yeah, with that. <laughs> yeah, I'll build it into like a seat. <laughs> Crazy. Cool. And then by the end of the day, Thursday, man, all the walls are going to be up. It'll be finished being framed. And then things will really start moving slow. <laughs> this is definitely like the fastest, most like satisfying part of the build because right. the walls don't take that long to frame. They go up and now your space is completely transformed. And then the next thing I have to do is run electricity, which takes the exact amount of time and it makes the room look no different. <laughs> My goal is to have all the electricity run by the end of this week, Friday when I leave. Yeah. And then um, next week, I'm just, I'm just drywalling in, hopefully laying the floors. So you still have to build the, uh, all the walls are built except, I need to build the door. Two cross walls that will separate the space. Oh, so. The one that goes right here that separates the YouTube studio in this room. Yeah. And then the back wall here. And then I need to build, it's gonna come out to two walls, like another 16 foot wall, which will land us right here. Yeah. And then the rest of that is almost another 16 feet. So I gotta be able to build two more stud walls. The following Thursday. And same with the conduit on this side, I believe. Oh, you know, we need to take this. Literally, this junction right here, coming into this, does nothing. We did a walkthrough before when there was nothing here. Do you want to do oh, a yeah. walkthrough? 
with stuff. Like I said before, we're gonna have a showroom here. This is where some of my favorite stuff is gonna be displayed. We're gonna have a slat wall, or hang guitar hangers on so both these walls. Still have a bathroom. This is gonna be Eric's little photo studio back here. There'll probably be a sink there too, that's super interesting. And then this is going to be the studio room where we make the videos for you guys. You're gonna make your set on this wall. So back here we can store all our mics and all our tools we use to make content instead of it just being a big mess and being in the showroom, which no one likes. And then you come back out here and this is going to be the workshop and warehouse. So from here back it's gonna be pallet racking on both sides and then here until about where that, about where the lumber starts over there, it's gonna be our workshop. And then that front little 12 by 12 area is going to be the incoming and outgoing shipping and receiving area. Is there's going to be a staircase here that's gonna bring you on top. You can't beat that. That's a thick piece of wood, man. Yeah, this is the densest lump like construction grade lumber you can get. All the other circuits in the building will just hurt me. This one will fucking kill me. We got a uh, Adam Slager cameo now. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Flash Flood of Gears new office. As you can tell, we're almost done with the build. All we have to do is bring in the inventory and we're gonna be good to go. So go ahead and get your orders in. Now we are ready to ship. So when you're adjusting your acoustic guitar truss rod and it starts to get tight and you're worried like, I don't wanna push it too far. I don't know what's gonna happen if I keep pushing it. This is what you've gotta worry about. If you push it just a little bit too far, this can happen. So be careful. Take your stuff to Guitar taking chips with Alex. Yeah. That was one quarter turn too far. Yeah, that's, that can <laughs> the, tuners, that's, the tuners flew right out. Yeah. But then I was like, yeah, right, now I got pretty it. Hard. Let, me, let me do one. You want to? Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Yes, uh, let's go. Flavor. Yeah, Give here. Me, let me, I'll, I got glasses. I'll get this one set up. <laughs> that's kind of fun. Yeah. It's, dude, the aim is harder than it looks. Yeah. That's why every every single time I do it, I miss the first one. It smells like gunpowder in here. It does. Redemption time. Redemption? I did great. Hey, if a baseball player only has to get on base like 30%. <laughs> there we go. Nice. You gotta really make good contact. The following day. Today's project is prepping uh, to install the AC. Just gotta pour a slab outside. Uh, for the outside unit, and uh, got my dad here doing that. I want everyone to know this is all going way over my head. Here's the instructions right there, it's green blue. Right. The problem for me, and I read this, the words will all change in, in, in order. The letters all over the place. The slab's gonna cure for the next few days and then Keep more it. fun will begin. Away from Several days later. I think the last thing I filmed here of the build build was Adam trying to be a builder. Yeah, none of the blocking was in, none of the ceiling joists or ledgers were up. Three days later. We did, you did all this stuff up here. Yes, lots of little blocks of wood. Wood. So what are you working on now? Electrical. Electrical stuff. And not killing myself today. Yeah, just electrical. Lights, switches, power outlets. We got some recessed lighting going in. We got 24 of these bad boys. Um, and then we haven't picked them out yet, but there should be a few light fixtures coming down the middle. Hopefully something aesthetic and uh, yeah, this is the fun part because I don't have to break my back today. <laughs> these guys attach very easily through here and uh, they have these fancy little wire nuts that we just get to push um, all the wires into and it should make it go very quick. 
which would be the first quick moving thing in this whole build. It's coming together though. It is, it is. We are, I I think we're like right at the hump now. So it's, it's feeling rough, but I feel like we're about to be seeing some um, good progress here in the next couple days. So what phase of the project are you on now? The most electrifying part. <laughs> yeah, electrical. Which means next is drywall. Which means it'll feel close to done then, finally. all the junctions for uh, the recessed lighting. So the drywall will, will just cut like a hole right here and the lights themselves have a plug that can just plug right into that. So super easy. I was in the pedal car rack and I even looked behind there to see if it had fallen and I could not find it. Um, okay. Uh, where, do you, where do you think the neck would be? It's on the R, R, R1 or R2, but yeah, if you can just, if, as long as you find the adapter for the core, then I'm, I'm not too worried about the neck. I think we've got it figured out. We're having trouble locating two items. It happens. Mind you, we've sold like a large number of things this weekend, so it's actually a very small percentage of them, but ideally we find everything and there's no searches. One shift later. How's the drywall been going, Brian? Good. Since we got this drywall jack, it's. Well, it started going up pretty fast, and by the end of the day, this building should be all drywalled up. either side it won't snap easily but if you do try it will right. like that cool I'm so I'll, uh, okay. I am. Hire me to actually don't hire me. Damien's first time here. This is my first day here. Coming the construction. After I work you like a dog in your ass. This is what I say. I'm glad we all got the memo today. Right, yeah. Red shirts. Red. Old oh, red, red shirts. Red shirts. And it's from 2013. This is, Adam, this is Adam Blair Slager original. Yes, it oh, is. Oh, really? For uh, his emo Halloween or whatever. Oh. We're missing emo Halloween this year. I'm actually really bummed. Like, oh, shoot. I've done that every Halloween for a long time. Oh, you got upgraded the power tool. So just a couple weeks ago, the room we're standing in right now was just a little like 12 by 12 office that took up this little square on the ground. And now that's gone away. We built a whole new structure, put drywall up, we're sanding the drywall. We mudded the drywall, that's crazy. And we're not gonna put any lights in here. We're gonna work in the dark. Is that Eric? He is making his own office right now. <laughs> that is true. Now we have a studio. We just picked out some colors. Come on here. 
Look what we got, the whole structure is here. It's definitely not finished, but it is all built out. I'm really happy with the progress we're making. Everything is looking awesome. Brian and the whole team are killing it, so appreciate everyone. Appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video and can't wait to show you guys what it looks like in just a couple more weeks as it's gonna be completely different once again.